What if you need to use similar but not the same sets of folders again and again? I'm David Stjernholm and in this, the 591st episode of Done, we'll talk about an easy trick to create a folder structure quickly. But first, I find writing alt texts for images incredibly boring. You know, alt texts are those texts that you're supposed to add for every image you publish somewhere on the internet that describe what's in the picture. At the same time, I obviously want to write them, because then the text is displayed for visually impaired readers interested in structure, and it also makes my pages easier to find. So I've come up with a prompt that makes an AI write these texts for me, so I don't have to. How it works, and how you can do it too, if you want to avoid spending time writing all texts, I show you in a post on the Structure blog. You'll find a link there in the show notes. Doing something you have done before in your work becomes smoother if you take advantage of the good structure you created once. Take, for example, folder structures. If you carry out a particular type of assignment multiple times, manage similar projects now and then, or are responsible for workgroups on a certain topic regularly, you will need to save similar documents every time. The easier you can find them and quickly know where to save them, the smoother the work will be for you and for those you collaborate with. Therefore, creating a ready-made folder structure that you can use as a template whenever you start a project, carry out such an assignment or are responsible for such a workgroup is a good idea. You create a folder structure with empty folders that you either place in the general folder with all kinds of templates or in a template folder structure folder directly next to the folders for projects, assignments or workgroups. When it's time to start a new instance of something recurring, you simply copy and paste the template folder structure into the new folder for the project or the assignment or workgroup. Everything is in order and ready in no time. Do this. Have you recently completed a project, an assignment or workgroup work where the folder structure you created was particularly good? So good that you want to use it again? Then create a blank copy of it, that is, create a structure with empty folders with the same names and in the same order. Let it be a template for next time. Place it where you can easily find it. If you have a folder where you collect templates of various kinds, you will probably remember to look there when you recall that you have a template folder structure. So that would be a good place. If you usually keep templates close to where you need them, doing the same with this template folder structure seems more natural. Be as consistent as you can. A few times a year, we at the speaker agency Talanas, I co-founded a few years ago but now have sold, we arranged a breakfast talk week we called five in a row. Every time we needed to have the same type of materials and documents easily accessible. I created a template folder structure that helped me quickly create folders for images, texts, registration lists, video files, etc. The structure was the same for each occasion, so it was easy for each of us who collaborated to find what we needed without searching. I highly recommend doing something similar if you haven't already done so. Because if you create a template folder structure, you don't have to spend time repeatedly inventing the wheel of a well-functioning folder structure. You also avoid such inconsistencies between different structures, as I mentioned in a previous episode, which would make your job a bit more complicated. Instead, you quickly create order in what you do every now and then. You can find what you're looking for faster and your collaboration with others runs smoother and with less friction. What templates have you created that you have found particularly useful? Please write to me at david at and tell me. Right now I'm especially interested in simplifying through reuse, so I'm curious to hear about the innovative solutions you have come up with. Thank you for today and see you again next week.